Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your holiday activation reading. I am the one and only, the Cosmic Doc, and here we are in this vibrational moment where I am here to talk tarot and to also talk animal spirit cards for all those who are Pisces, have Pisces somewhere within your vibrational life, or even more, maybe if you have some Piscean in your life. I'm here to help you to be empowered and to know. And in knowing, we can go even further on the pathway. So, changes here, changes all around as we are preparing for a new year, preparing for a new you, an evolving you, and a you that loves you. Mm. Maybe I need to say that again. Again, all those Pisces out there, a you that loves you. Yeah, you love you, but I mean really love you. This year coming is going to bring an opportunity for you to really know you and to love you and to find power in you, in self, in power, in evolution, in evolution and making time for your growth and your expansion. So we're going to move intuitively to see what cards that Spirit is leading for all those Pisces out there to know. And to be, oh, all right, I see that. Yeah, okay. So I see the moon popping on through. Look at that again. All those Pisces out there right now, the center point that we're seeing is that intuition. Honor your intuition. Know it. Believe it. Trust it. Look at your dreams. The psychic in you is now really about to shine and glow and re oh, just about to take people. It's about to take people by storm in a whole other way that they don't see coming and you are just going to be clear in your purpose. And through it, mm -hmm, you can really step into new ways of making money. So here we are with the eight of abundance. <laughs> Look at that eight of abundance. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the moon and we have the eight of pinnacles. All right, we're going to keep it moving again. Intuitively spirit lead us to what it is that all those Pisces out there need to know. Mm. No fool here. However, this is pointing very much to an inward journey and a journey in and of itself that will be unprecedented, that will take you deep on the pathway. All right. Is there anything else? Let's see. Okay. Yep. We've got big learning, big internal work. So with the King of Pentacles and the fool, both so-called reversed i would say that they're pointing to you they're pointing inward and saying you have big work you have big work internal work that you really need to hmm, think about the messaging that you have not only been receiving but that you've been internalizing and somehow believing that is not true that is not really who you are so now it is about getting clear in how you want to be in the world and finding that emotional balance, but also ridding yourself of other toxic people who have been draining and have been spilling over on you. So this full card pointing again towards you is saying that there is an opportunity for spiritual work, for internal journey that can allow you to understand how did we get here to this place where you're standing at the shine, but you're also standing amid the shadow of others who are often trying to catch a tan in your sunshine and also overshadowing you. So again, we're speaking to all those Pisces out there. The uh, We've got the moon. We have the eight of Pinnacles and we have the nine of Pinnacles and the fool no fool again here this is all about uh, upcoming up current up little up, upcoming journey goodness <laughs> and even this right here we have a six of wands which is talking about forward movement and really stepping into your higher mind and for some of you for some of those Pisces out there really beginning to step into channeling your destiny and finding your voice. And I can feel that third eye just pulsating, just really coming through as I'm sharing this with you. As you find your group, as you find those who get you, you're really going to be lifted up, mm, hands on fire. You're really going to be lifted up into a whole new place of where your connection with the universe and spirit and your ancestors and even the animals, that it really electrifies, that it really takes you to higher ground that you know is always possible and there. It's just been for a while latent 
as others have imposed on you. So we have Ace of Swords, New Beginnings. And there it is. If I saw correctly, this is also pointing just like over here. And what this is interesting, if we were to almost look at it as the self and the split self, we're having the internal work. And then there's also where all this is leading. As you do the internal work, it will help to help you find that balance. So with the Ace of with the Ace of Swords, this is saying big transformation is on tap for you that is already happening as you're really having to cut the cords of toxic things and people and really having to go within. And in going in, it is remembering and then it's also cutting off. I don't need to be attached and, and immersing myself in these moments that are so far gone that just... They were what they were in those moments. And now it is about moving through the rivers of change that are all around you. My goodness, a lot of internal work. Wow. Okay. So this is definitely talking about not only the need for rest and solitude. Again, we have these swords just ever around you. Speaking to all these Pisces with the four swords. Internal work. Internal work, internal, internal. There's nothing negative or low vibrational about this, but it is about going even deeper, even deeper, moving past the delusions that have just enfolded your mind, often through others, and again, through what you told yourself. So we have another card that is speaking to the internal work. Oh, goodness, I, I, this is amazing to see. And it's a reminder for all of us. Ace of Wands, a new beginning that will take you even deeper in your connection to self, to the universe. Again, all of this internal work. And again, the fact that you're getting these aces and knights that are there. It's speaking to your oneness. Finding your peace and your connection with the divine in incredible ways. I look at this and I think this is signaling to me that someone, many people across the multiverses, that this is signaling, take the time for self and you will see your greatest expansion. Maybe you're already doing it. Maybe the pathway of change and you finding this new place of power has forced you to be alone, stand alone, and then to really do the internal work. You're never alone. It is clearing the pathway and the cobwebs of other people's vibrations that have really been like quicksand. Just, just had you stuck and just murky and unsure of, and also maybe even walking on eggshells. So as you find your power, as you look towards it, as you make time, any time throughout the day for you to connect with spirit, then you can gain greater sight and understanding on the best ways forward. I mean, wow, changes are here. And this is spirit saying, go in, go in, go in. Come on, we're waiting on you. We are waiting on you so we can help you to find that oneness, that bridge of alignment, and you can really skyrocket even further on your pathway with greater balance, knowingness, and fulfillment as you begin to find new ways, finding new communities, and really finding new ways towards your abundance that will grow even more communities around you. People, people love your energy. And now it is about you loving what you do and then you can find other people who love what they do and then you all are coexisting as you love what you do together. Okay? So take time for yourself. Take time for yourself. That's what all of this is saying. Tend to your garden. Big things are happening. This internal work, the journeying, the journaling, the journeying, surrendering to spirit, getting ready for your greatest transformation and newness and new beginnings as you are being lifted so, so, so high on the pathway. All right, so let's now turn on to those lovely animals. The animals are here. They're all around us as we are sometimes hearing and sometimes overlooking. 
Again, I am the one and only, the Cosmic Doc, and I'm speaking to all those Pisces out there as we are looking to the animals to say, what do you have to say? What animals should I call on as I'm moving forward on the pathway? Again, we're speaking to all those Pisces out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pisces, you are here to learn most through your mind and the bridge of your emotions. Doing that can help you to really be the manifester, to be the magician in all these ways. So spirit, where and how, what animals can Pisces call on as destiny is here and all around and also as new awakenings? You're the only one that seven cards seem to come through. So all right, know this, you are the star the starfish is coming in for all those Pisces or anybody everywhere who has Pisces within you. The starfish is saying that activations are happening all around you as above, so below, within who you are. You should just feel this whole electricity that's going to be coming through. We have the hawk. We have higher sight that is here for you to call in. If you see a hawk in your mind, beam out. I see you. I feel you. I knew you were coming. <laughs> So again, we got Hawk. Look at that creativity and leaping forward in very smart ways. As you learn through the wheels of change that are here, call on the frog. You're navigating and seeing the beauty in many contours of your life. And as you grow and you lift and you climb and you leap. Okay. So already we had the starfish, the hawk, the frog. Next, we have the gazelle. We have the rabbit. So things are going to move ever so quickly. Keep your ears and your eyes open. You are, I'm telling you, your mind is going to be a direct antenna to spirit and to these downloads. You're going to find that this greatest wisdom within you is really now about to come out where people are like, what would you say? How'd you know that? And you're like, mm, wow, it spirit must just spoken through. So this gazelle is going to also be that energy that you can call on to really understand how to interact with other people and how best to empower them, to nourish them on the pathway. Octopus has truly been coming through for everybody. So, hey, why not call in the octopus energy? Look at that. Your mind is going to be glowing in new and colorful ways as you see all sides and then you see the many tentacles of you as you are able to handle the multi-dimensions of your life. And last but definitely not least, the hummingbird. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. It is about you are transitioning in between worlds. You are really managing a whole lot as you are giving so too as you as you are giving so too are you now beginning to receive and see and grow as you are being nourished. The best nourishment for yourself, though, will be the time alone. You are coming through some tremendous fires and through it, new doorways are opening. So call in that hummingbird and you can begin to see and feel the vibrations really take you to a much higher level. So again, I am the one and only the Cosmic Doc. And mm, for all those Pisces out there, here's the animals and the, the birds and the insects that you can call on. Octopus, hummingbird, rabbit, gazelle, starfish, hawk, frog. Mm, this is incredible. This is all speaking towards your greatest awakening. It is here. It is now. And it will continue to evolve. And you're going to find yourself just humming along, humming along. <laughs> I could just feel the joy and the delight coming in all around you. This is your opportunity and the days and the vibrations and the moments ahead, they're going to be magical. You are the architect of your life. Be that, know it, own it, and love it. All right, again, I am the one and only, the Cosmic Doc, and I've been speaking to all of those Pisces. So all right now, I'll be talking to you soon, and I will be empowering you soon. Okay.